and welcome back to Flashish. Flashish. Can't remember how to say Flashish. Any case, let's have a look. We are now into October. So today we have to bring in those bales, first of all. Then we need to analyze the fields, get them ready for planting, and get them planted. So the first thing we're going to do is get onto the Massey, or shall we put it on the, shall we do it on, yeah let's do the class, it's quicker to get down to the store on the class. So we're going to head on down to the store, and we are going to go and buy a trailer, so that, and some front end loader equipment, or, well, that means we do have to take our, uh, our class down because that's got the front end loader attachment on it. Let's just have a look and see how... 84% so we should have silage by the end of this episode as well. Nice. It means we will have to buy a TMR mixer as well. In any case, we'll head on down to the store and we'll catch you once we're there. Right, you're back with me, we're just about at the store. So our shopping list here includes a trailer to put the bales on and a front end loader attachment as well as a, some baling forks. So let's go and have a chat to the, the folks here and see what they've got or what they can do for us. So trailers. Uh, let's get auto bail. I think that's the one that I want. Yeah, so we'll buy that. We'll buy it fully loaded. 12,000 capacity, so it comes to 12,000 euros and yeah we'll get that and that should be able to to do our our bales pretty sure it will be able to square bales 49 centimeters to 249 yeah so we've got some 240s but that's fine Right, so we'll buy that. Right, then we need to go and look at front end loader tools. Front end loader tools, there we go. Or front end loader, first of all. Uh, let's have a look and see. We're about 200 horses, aren't we? 100 horsepower. 120 horsepower, 9,000 quick, 120 horsepower. Yeah, we'll be able to run that. So we'll buy that. Yeah. Okay, and we will now go and have a look for baling fork here yeah. so we need to go out of that tools bale spike at 600 that's that would be useful but I don't think we need that I think we just need to get that and that will be fine Yeah, that'll 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 work. That'll work. So we'll buy that. Right. That was a bit expensive, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've got some decent equipment. Okay. 
it'll help if we just line ourselves up properly. Let's do the job properly. Or yeah, we can. Let's. Um, I think we can put our bale on the front. Uh, our, our weight on the front. I think we can take that back as well now. Right. And I think we can get the front lens loader on over that. get it all back to the farm. I'd actually forgotten about the um, the weight. Right, that's that sorted. If I should, I think I'll just pop in here quickly and go and get um, there it is. There. Yeah, and just get the. I can't remember whether we've got a workshop on the farm, so I'll just get this configured now, and then we'll work out the workshop de details later. There we go. So let's get this configured now for bales. Uh, I thought the... Uh, Let's let's put on the interactive markers again. I thought that the that the trigger point was inside the building. It is. It should be. Ah, oh, there we go. So I'm guessing we need to be in this area here. Here we go. Now we know. Yep, there everything is in there. So we'll customize that. Bales auto load. Loader. Ah, we don't need that. So it's Bales Autoload, Wood Trailer, Bales Autoload. Okay, customize. Right, didn't didn't cost anything because we'd already paid for all the options. Our trailer is fully loaded, so so to speak. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get back to the farm and then we'll we'll see you there. Right, we're back at the farm and. I'm going to just unload the, we'll take off the, the weight, we'll leave that there for now, we'll just knock it over with our, with our front end loader, forks, so let's just go park this up here and we can then load up the bales all right right let's have a look and see if this works so that's actually an auto load trailer, so I 
I'm hoping that I will be able to just load trying to find a halfway house between doing the auto loading and loading so I'm hoping that if we take that over there it'll actually auto load from the doesn't look like it's going to do it Like this. Good. That we can get that sorted. Right, we'll do this on a bit of a time lapse. Catch you once it's done. Right, you're back with me, this is the last bale. It does kind of work um, with doing it this way. Never tried it before, but it is going to be still quite time consuming. So we're going to finish this off in this method, and then I'm going to just do the rest of the straw bales just purely as a auto load, just to speed up a bit of time. The thing is you have to pretty much put it down to get it to offload so and then it'll jump back up there like that so it doesn't quite work but yeah so it was a bit of fun we will need the forks for making tmr so it's not a waste of money or anything like that and let's put the straps on. I don't think we really needed straps, did we? Right, now it's a question of where do we store these? Uh, so, I think we might as well invest in a bale storage facility so let's go and have a look at sheds yep sheds where is the water is it under silos maybe It is a twenty-nine thousand. It's not going to leave us a lot of money. Let's put it in here.
go. Yep, that's pretty cool. Let's get out and have a quick look at it. Plenty of room to work around there. Yeah, plenty of room to work around there. Plenty of room to come into the farm. Yeah, perfect. Right. So let's go and get this offloaded in there. Then we'll bring the straw in and it can go in there as well. So I think we're going to need to get in a little bit closer than that. Should work. Load the bales. Why? Should be able to move them out there. Yeah. And why again? There we go. That should be in there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Right, so we're gonna go and do the the bales normally. Just as normal operation and I'll still show that on a time lapse well I'll show this first field in a time lapse and then I'll do the other fields off camera right here we go right you're back with me and we seem to have a problem with one of the bales I don't know was this just one that was left over it's not the same size it's not a real problem because all I will do is just put it on the forks as we go back so it's 10 bales off this field what am I doing? what has happened here now? Load pails. Let's just unload the pails. Right. So what we're going to do? Oh, uh, you know what? I was on the wrong. I was trying to work the front end forks and, and um. <laughs> oh dear. Too many pieces of equipment on at once. Let's get that on first. Alright, so that's that done. So, why well, stop unloading? X operating position and then we should be able to load that all pretty quickly that's already stacked basically there we go so now we we are where we should have been Yes, I'm not quite sure why that bale was a different size. I expected these all to be a smaller size, so well, 200. Um, oh no, we changed them to 240, so that's why that, that makes sense. The hay bales were 200, or 220. We changed it when we went onto straw to 240. So this front bale is um, and it should just 
Pour flotter. Um, is 220 and these other ones are 240 so yeah that makes sense it makes sense now I'm quite happy and why and the bells struggling with what what is going on here this is normally such an easy operation operating position why unload bells I just don't know what's happening Oh, uh, once again, there we go. Now we've got one bell stuck on here. Oh my goodness. What a catastrophe. Sometimes it just works that way, doesn't it? Why stop unloading? Operating position. Unload here. Here we go. And unload. Shouldn't be that difficult. It really shouldn't be. In any case, we'll have to go and collect the others. Um, I think I'll do it on a time lapse. Uh, we may. Yeah, let's just see. I'll either do it in a time lapse or if it takes too long I will uh, do a jump cut but in either way we'll see you once it's done right we're just about at our bottom field now and we'll just slow down here and Make sure that we've got all our settings right again. We're on the right trailer this time. X, operating position. Right, let's go and load these up. And we'll get back to you once it's done. Right, we're just about back at the farm. We've got these all cleared up. So there's another 20 bales of straw off the bottom field. We're a bit under the pump here because we are already at quarter to 12 and we haven't started analysing the fields yet. In any case, let's get this all floated quickly and then we'll get on to the analysing of the fields. And we're going to unload. There we go. Oh, wow. Why does it always happen when I'm talking to you? The last lot I did just was perfectly. There we go. 
Oh dear. Right, let's just drop this off here for the meantime. We'll pop back and have a quick look and see what we've got in store there now. Have we got a full pellet? Just about a full pellet of eggs. And our cows, how are they doing? I hope there's no surprise. I didn't check them first thing this morning. Ducks, they're all okay. The cows, they're at 69% health. We have a little bit of milk. Uh, reproduction, 10%. Yeah, so not full health, and that's because they're on, on hay. They should get up to 80%, really. So we've got two. Why have we got two and then three? I don't know. Did we buy two separate ones? I thought we had five cows. I thought we bought five. Cow, female, cow, female. Got plenty of food, plenty of straw. Can't remember what we did now. I thought we had more than five cars. Two, three, four, five. Did we only buy five? Could be. Could be. But we've got 600 litres of milk. So, yeah, that's working. Uh, let's give the fence a run and we'll go and put the, we'll have to go and lease the soil analyzer. Not quite sure whether we actually need to um, go to the bank manager, we might be running out of money. What we will do is we will take off the leave the weight here. Right, and we'll head on back down to the store and we'll see you once we get there. Right, so we're just about down at the store. We seem to spend half our life down at the store at the moment. We don't own any equipment. Well, we don't own a lot of equipment, let's put it that way. Let's go and see if we've got enough money to... I just want to get the... Um, directive zone markers off. We don't need them now. Right. What am I doing? What am I doing? And I think it's probably going to be under miscellaneous. Yep, yeah, there we go. 1700. Lease that for 800. Yeah, we can do that. Yes, okay. And question of whether we're going to have the money to pay for the analysis basically we'll see we'll see we may have to phone up the bank manager while we are analyzing and saying oh, please help us it should be okay we haven't got any bank loans at the moment I don't think we'll be too much of a problem. I hope you'll really appreciate that we are trying to get ourselves into or try to be as modern as modern a farmer as possible, if that means anything. In any case, this waffle will catch you back at the at the store. Oh, we're not at the store, at the farm. 
<laughs> Too much waffling. See you later. So we've started. We've got the first soil sample done. And now I've just got to follow around. Shouldn't take too many to get this whole field done. It's just a question of trying not to miss. Just wish it would take samples in squares instead of uh, circles. Much easier to uh, get the geometry right. Yeah, so pretty, pretty easy to do. So you just got to try and get those green areas to cover everything. Always, in my opinion, better to sample a little bit around the field. So, rather make sure that you get as much of the field done as possible. It just leads to easier... It just makes things easier later on. And if we go back up here, okay, I didn't even see if I didn't even look to see whether this map was precision farming ready. I just presumed it was. So there's always a bit of double analyzing because it's a circle and trying to cover all the all the little bits and pieces of the rounded edges always means a little bit of uh, duplication. You see, we don't want to use that. So I'm working, of course, off of the little map on the on the bottom left-hand side, trying to make sure that I'm colouring in the whole field. <laughs> I think I've used that colouring in the analogy once before in this series. But it's kind of like that. You've just got to make sure that every everything goes brown. Right, you're back with me and we're just doing the last sample for the first field and let's see if we can get that sent off for analysis okay in the meantime while we're waiting for that to come back we shall head off to field two hey why don't we see if we can find us a shortcut through the bottom here. Let's have a quick look. We may or we may not. Hang on, so let's have a look. Let's see what's happened with it. Field. Uh, where are we now? And precision farming. So we've got sandy loam top and bottom, or middle should I say, loamy sand in the middle, so not great, not great, probably still better than clay, but yeah, I don't know, hopefully by the looks of it we might be heading onto better soil on our other field, in any case, we'll, we'll see what happens. So let's see if I can find a way through here to our second field. So we are we going to go? So if we go between these trees here, that should get us through there and there. It's not always easy to get to find out exactly where you're going in this 
Yeah, so we can get through here. So let's just try and find some markers. We can go through the bushes, but we don't want to go through the... That's not it. Got our field there. So we don't want to go there. Where do we go? Where do we go? Here we go. That's our field, isn't it? Right, let's give it a go. It's probably going to get lost. Try in first person and see if it helps. Go there. And I think we need to go up slightly. And through there. Yeah. I think we should put a road through there. Right. Let us see where we are and get started on this just zoom out a bit so it looks like we can afford to go further up that way a little bit further up uh, and we have to go back now to cover that little bottom corner there. Yeah, I think we've got it all now. We take the sample there. Where are we now? 13. We'll get this done and then we will start. Well, what we'll do is we'll actually. We'll end this episode as soon as we finish this and then we'll come back for an afternoon session which is probably going to go into the evening to get the field sewed uh, at least limed I would imagine and sewed. In any case we will do this on a bit of a time lapse and we'll get back to you once it's done. Mm -hmm. We just about finished this second field now. Got all the samples in. Just got to get them sent off to the lab and see what they come back with. Send those off. Right. In the meantime, we'll get back to the farm. So now we are at two o'clock in the afternoon. I think that's where we'll finish off this episode. We'll just wait for the results to come through as we go back, as we drive back to the farm. And, oh, uh, that looks like clay. It looks like clay. Pretty much all clay. How unlucky can we be? The types of soil we have. Oh dear, dear, dear. In any case, we'll have to make do with what we've got. I'm wondering whether I shouldn't just put this top one to grass. 
empty pit full of cows. You can plant grass at any time, so it takes the pressure off us. And um, yeah, I think that's what we will do. We'll plant this top field that's um, basically all clay with grass. We'll put wheat into this field and barley for our cattle, for our chickens. And that's pretty much how we'll start off. And then we'll work from there and decide what we're going to do, whether we're going to buy more fields or go solely on the animal husbandry side. At the moment it's a bit touch and go. So what I'm going to do is end this episode here. I'm going to take this back to the to the store and pick up a lime spreader and we're going to work on this top field for now and get that planted. And get that ready and get some barley into there right do hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio